jbeans.net. We sailed on the Carnival Sunrise for five nights in December 2021. Our Category 4E inside staterooms were located on Deck 6 midship, a few staterooms forward of the midship elevators. We booked two connecting staterooms for our crews because the price for two rooms was literally the same as a single stateroom for our family. Just a quick note that if you enjoy this video, please give us a thumbs up or leave a comment. It really helps our channel. And consider subscribing so you get alerted when we add new videos. One of the reasons we selected our particular staterooms was the shape of the rooms was more square instead of the usual rectangular shaped room. And that created a layout that we found easier to navigate. Another reason was the connecting doors between our staterooms, which could be locked from each room. Both of our rooms had two twin beds, and we had the beds converted to a larger king-size bed in one of the rooms. The rooms also had two end tables with a cabinet for storage, and two wall-mounted reading lamps. A room light switch and two USB type A charging outlets were located between the wall mounted reading lamps at the head of the beds. Underneath the beds, there was a good amount of space for storing luggage. The bathrooms for our staterooms were located near the entrances to the rooms and were quite small, like most cruise ship bathrooms. The sink area was located on one side of the bathroom, with a trash bin located below. Two wall-mounted shelves on each side of the sink area offered some space for storing toiletries, and two drinking glasses were provided. Overhead at the sink area, a shaver electrical outlet was available. Opposite the sink area, the bathroom included a standard cruise ship shower with a cloth shower curtain. Inside the shower, dispensers with shampoo and shower gel were available. A couple of towel racks were mounted on the bathroom wall above the toilet for hanging towels and other items to dry. Our room's closets were also located near the entrances to the rooms, next to the doors that connected our staterooms. The three closets were relatively standard size for a cruise ship and provided a good amount of storage for our family. The first closet had hangers and shelves available for storage. The room safe was located on one of the shelves and could be locked with a personal code. The second closet only had hangers available, but it did include a full-length mirror on the inside of the door. The third closet only had shelves available for storage. Across from the foot of the beds, our rooms had a desk with a good size lighted mirror and the room's TV, which was mounted in clear view of the beds. The desk area also had a stool type chair and a wastebasket. A phone that displayed the current date and time. A multi type international outlet two USB Type-A charging outlets, two Type-B outlets, a cabinet with a shelf for storage, a drawer that included a hair dryer, and another cabinet that included a small refrigerator. Unfortunately, during our cruise, the refrigerators in both of our staterooms did not work, and we weren't alone. We heard other passengers complaining about the same issue. A sticker next to the mirror provided a QR code that could be scanned to see the ship's room service menu. 
The room's TVs had options for TV and movies, fun aboard, and you and your cruise. And the home screens conveniently displayed the current date, time, and outside temperature. Like most cruise ships, the TV and movie section had a limited number of live TV channels available, with about a dozen Carnival Focus channels and eight additional channels such as CBS News, HGTV, Food Network, and Travel Channel. The on-demand portion of the TV and movie section had a couple dozen movies available, including some Christmas favorites for our Christmas time cruise. A little over half of the movies were available for free, and the rest were available for a nominal charge. The Fun Aboard section provided a TV-based view of the what's happening, food and drinks, and itinerary information from the Carnival Hub app and daily schedule. And the You and Your Cruise section provided a view of our account balance and good to know information which was also provided in paper format in our room. A few final notes about our staterooms. Our room's lights appeared to require a room key to stay on. However, our room attendant provided generic cards that were kept in the slots throughout our cruise. The room's thermostats were always set to the coldest setting possible, However, the rooms were never actually cold and were generally a comfortable temperature. And finally, a couple of coat hooks were located next to the desk area.